We're here at the opening reception for the play exhibition and also for uh, David Powell and Peter Tomashow in the East Gallery. So the play exhibition was curated by Matt Neckers, who is an artist and educator. Uh, and he was able to bring in his students and a number of students and art teachers from surrounding uh, uh, primary and secondary schools to collaborate. It's really fun. Really fun, really colorful, very interactive. It's an exciting evening. It's very, very uh, kid friendly. And it's also, it's a show that says, please touch. And it's a show that uh, asks us to think a little bit differently about art and about the objects around us. I like this art exhibit because there's a lot of colors and movement and it's fun. This is the play exhibit and we're playing. It's really great that the schools can be involved and the children can be involved and then have their artwork juxtaposed with the artwork of contemporary adult artists. To see the children react to it was a, a very special and warm feeling I had. Again, are you thinking stop or are you thinking go? Stop! Wow! It's, uh, it, it's always a rewarding part uh, of the artistic process just to see people I know, appreciating, interacting in even ways that you didn't think that they'd interact with in the first place. I see a lot of people flailing their hands on it, and I just love the excitement that it could bring, even though that wasn't intended. Really what this is trying to do is evoke feelings that we have, as we often experience as children, and, uh, the sense of wonder and the sense of play. It's different because the kids are so involved, and they're, they have, they're the most fun people. <laughs> I've cut them up and put them on perches and put them behind uh, magnifying glasses so you can see them more clearly. So I call it birds under observation. Well folks, we're coming to you from the Helen Day Arts Center in Stowe, where the exhibit tonight is called Play. There's still your typical wine and cheese being served, but here you're encouraged to actually touch the art and have fun with it. There's good times to be had by kids and adults alike. For the Stone Reporter and Stone Media Group, this is Heath Iden.